Hey, DocuCommentarians, welcome back to DocuCommentary. My name is Travis Nelson, and I am one of your hosts. By saying one of your hosts, I feel I've let you in on a little secret. There's a second host. It's me, Chase Myers. Boom! He's there. You didn't even see him. He came Surprise. out and kicked you right in the dick. Right in your vagina. dick. vagina. It's my move. Between the legs, one, one way or the other. Doesn't matter what you got down there. Chase is just right through the uprights. I'm swinging. Yep. So, sorry about that. <laughs> You're dirty. Chase kicked you in the crotch. And here we go. Look, let's just move forward. All right, guys? Let's just... This is the show where we watch a documentary and we record a commentary track for it for you to listen to after the fact. This is not the movie that you can watch for free on YouTube. Can't stress that enough. Also, it's meant to be listened to while you watch the documentary. So, yes, there will be quite a bit of dead air as we expect you to be watching the documentary as well as listening to us. It's really the easiest possible web series we could do. And we're really not forcing anything on you, to be no, honest. No, you don't even have to you. watch just... it. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but they care so much. <laughs> Who cares? I don't know. But they... <laughs> We would really like if you did, but uh, you know, if you're going to send me a message about it, shut the fuck up. Yeah, how about that? that? How about that? Oh, uh, buddy, I am, so me and Travis are roommates, uh, we've lived together for 37 years, and, uh, we're 86 years old, and uh, Travis just updated the living room, and dude, I appreciate it, man, it Thank looks you. great, and we're watching this documentary on a brand new couch, yep, yeah, dude, you built this with your hands, on a new TV, which is on a TV stand that I also built with my hands, they just so. manned up in here, I really did, Chase, I've turned a corner, I turned 31 years old last week, and I'm so angry. <laughs> I, had to, I, I had to put it towards something. You got to turn it, a wrench for a little while. We had to, have been living in this apartment for, yeah, I think it's like four or five years now. And it was always just like a spot to crash when we weren't on the road. And so we never put any effort into it at all. And it's been so depressing this year to just every day I come back home. Because <laughs> like, we've yep. been here every day this year. Yeah, and I just mm-hmm. couldn't bring myself to update anything. and But I did. And, uh, it looks it looks and feels good, and I'm glad that you guys are here for Look, this moment. As your broke roommate, this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing okay, Chase. I'm building us a better life. That a boy, <laughs> you treat me well, man. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it's uh, election is in a couple days. I'm probably going to get this out fast, so you you might actually be seeing this before the election. Um, but I'm sure this is more important to you. But if not, go Trump. Hey, don't even. Chase, New, our, our 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 fearless leader continues. Chase to just doesn't want to wind up in the camps. Lead afterwards. this country. <laughs> we love him. I just love him so much. Chase wasn't being sarcastic. He's a very bad person. <sighs> Dude, I just don't want to get hurt again. <laughs> his, his Honda has a Trump flag uh, <laughs> taped to the back. That's right. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys vote with your conscience and can live with. If you can, I'm gonna be stopping traffic. You're not getting there. Yeah, me and Chase are gonna. Oh, we're gonna be rapscallions. Hey, man, what's that word, baby bird? I'm glad you asked because <laughs> this wasn't going anywhere. Uh, well, what we are gonna watch today is Secrets of the Sakara Tomb. I think it's Sakara. Good pronunciation, man. You went in with confidence. Yeah, I didn't even check. I think that's how it's said. I do that a lot, and then whenever people catch me on it, it's a fun laugh because <laughs> I just try to bullshit my way through. Um, The little blurb says the discovery of a lifetime, undisturbed for millennia, an ancient tomb reveals incredible artifacts and clues to understanding human history. This uh, is in Netflix's top ten, and it's number six in the U.S. today when we're watching it. As we record. Yeah, isn't that crazy? uh, So the only thing, we've never seen this. You've never seen this, right? Mm -mm, Nope. Uh, the only thing I know is I'm pretty sure, like, that tomb they opened a couple weeks ago, I think this is that same tomb. That's what you, you... think they made this v- movie in, like, two weeks? Well, I imagine they had already had it shot or whatever. Oh. And then, uh, you know, I guess the last last scene is just uh, them opening a tomb and the world ending. I don't uh, know. That's a good point. All right. I well... mean, but if not, you know... Okay. New tomb. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested in other tombs. <laughs> Man, every time a tomb opens up, I'm peeking in. I'm a little curious. <laughs> I'm like, what's what's, what are we talk about in here? We got uh, mummies yet? Huh? <laughs> I've been really thought mummies would be more of a thing. Yeah. Uh, what type of asshole was that guy? I bet he was a monster. Yeah. Listen. All right. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to count down and I'm going to hit play. And it's probably going to buffer 
I hope not because it's a new TV, but if it buffers, I'll let you know, and I will know exactly when it lets you play. And just so you can get it exactly, I'm going to put the exact time at the very top of the um, the about or details of yeah, this video. Just to be exact. Yeah. Okay. Hit. I'm going to hit play. Three, two, one. It's playing right now. Playing Nailed right it. Away. Nailed it. Man, do you think that's not going to be a problem anymore with this new TV? Nah, that would be I don't want to go so far, but man, one for one, you know? Yeah. So, Chase, how much do you know about ancient Egypt? I mean, not enough. You know, like, uh, stuff might come to me as I'm watching this, but, I mean, I don't have, like, any crazy you know facts. Necropolis is? Nah. I mean, I think it's just a city of the dead. Okay. Like a dead city. It's dead people. They're down here. What are you looking at? You know, I've been reading... Uh, I've read a couple articles of people being pretty critical of people going through these tombs and stuff because it's... I've heard that a lot of times it's not... Um, like, in Egypt, it's not actually the Egyptian people doing it. It's, you know... Yeah, like if I just flew over yeah, there. Yeah, it's kind it of like a like, colonial yeah, thing of just going, white people being like, I'm going to yeah, get into your ancestors' <laughs> grave. I'm going to touch the stuff. I'm going to feel around, see what's going on down there, you know? You're welcome. Yeah, it just seems to go again. I mean, they're tombs for a reason, right? Like you're not supposed to go back in there? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's like if somebody flew over here and fucking cracked open a grave that's been there for 250 years or Man, something. I'm going to make myself a killer tomb. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be like Indiana Jones style. Like if you try to get Mike to, I'll, I'll, you will die. <laughs> it's gonna be all. Mine's gonna be like when Indiana Jones was like uh, stuck in that rock or whatever the hell it is. That's gonna be my tomb. The one rolling towards him. <laughs> yeah, nah, like whatever. Uh, whenever he got froze or whatever that is. Oh, in, in that, Star Wars. Uh, yeah, and that. Yeah, it's gonna be that. <laughs> You're just gonna be Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll always be Jabba the Hutt. Uh... <laughs> oh, dude, fuck that. Yeah, go in oh, ass that, first. That terrifies me. You know how many people... If you look at a map of unexplained dis disappearances of people in the United States versus the cave system, it's exactly the same. Yeah. Don't go in that cave. Nope, caves are where people die. <laughs> that is kind of cool. <laughs> and here we are, baby. Start touching stuff. Did you know uh, Egyptian? Like, the pyramids are so old. When the pyramids were being built, woolly mammoths still li were alive. Damn. Nah. It's crazy, right? Get in there and loot. It's time for science to do some looting. <laughs> Big stuff happening. That is really interesting. Because ancient Egypt has like that whole aura around it of just being so mystical and lost secrets of oh they didn't have faces back then no nah, no faces man mystery um i saw a video about uh like pharaoh life recently there's a youtube channel called weird history yeah uh and they were like pharaohs were just they like literally were never alone they were just constantly like uh surrounded by 20 30 people like whatever they're uh and we're like just constantly in meetings, I guess, or you know, just constantly like talking about what's going on uh, in the country. Like, and then you died at twenty four or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. you got it. That's why you yeah. get a break. Yeah. It doesn't appear before knowledge. My 
The Muhammad Muhammad Yusuf. From the beginning, when we discover the tomb, we find the name Wahti. Wahti is the owner of the tomb, but we don't know anything about this man. Boss man. Trying to find out. Let's crack it open. He's the bad boss. <laughs> What does tiny fish mean? It don't like it is a mystery. Tiny fish, arrow, arrow, star. What does that mean? Triangle. When we play the ground, we found four shells. All right. What's down there? That's interesting. That's terrifying, actually. Is that dead? Everybody didn't sleep. Yeah, no, you didn't. Because if we can find the whole family buried in the shafts after 4,500 years, that would be better than finding gold. <laughs> I mean, it depends on much gold, but yeah. <laughs> If I can only find a dead family. <coughs> Have we heard him say that right? Sequara? We... No. I don't think we'll ever know. Are we Florida? Yeah, definitely Florida. Seems like it. I think this is Fort Walton Beach. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I know why it's important, but uh, I kind of need more details because I don't understand why. Like, we've been in so many tombs. At a certain level, I'm like, well, what more are we going to find? Like, he was like, ah, oh, what if the whole family's here and they're all dead? It's like, yeah, I kind of think that's... <laughs> that, probably, wouldn't, that wouldn't surprise me. It's probably what it's there for. Yeah. So I thought it was. Yeah. The whole family's dead in there. Oh, there's a cat. <clears throat> Man, animals have been uh, gravitating towards me in the last couple of days. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's very interesting. I think you said it's a car. It's a car, yeah. yeah. That looks amazing. That's so crazy. Pyramids trip me out, man. Just thinking about them and like being there for so long. Some of them are like 10,000 years old. Yeah. So much. Just minutes. Can you go from the Man, it feels like. The original guy is missed, uh, missed by a couple <laughs> thousand meters. <laughs> they could have, they could have been right in that dense vegetation, but they're out in the desert. So close, guys. Man, that pyramid could have been. Let's <laughs> get them treasures. The oldest? How old? Get that chicken, bro. Yeah, I ordered chicken. All right, Chase, wait for us. All right, this is chapter one. That's what this period's all about. Man, dude, really just handed you that bag, didn't he? Dude, knocked on the door and 
handed Travis his food for his contact delivery, contactless delivery. All right, they started back spring of 2018. Okay. So, yeah, that shit might have been right up to a couple weeks ago. Wow. Yeah, by the way, I hate when they, like, contactless delivery, put it on the ground, I will pick it up. Right. I mean, (laughs) I mostly just hate the interaction. Like, that's the one thing I've gotten from this pandemic is contactless delivery, and it's constantly Yeah, it's a great addition to delivery, honestly. Yeah, man. If I'm ordering food... Delivery. Leave that shit on the I'm ground. Not in the position to be talking to anybody new. All right. We don't know what that means. We're American. Every time someone says Celsius to me, I just become enraged. <laughs> I just scream, is it hot or cold? And I swing at them. (laughs) It's a good job. Okay, I'm glad they got a general manager. Good GM. Little kids working for him. I'm going to trade you, kid. I'm going to trade you for two grown men. What up, pup? Hey, dog. Hey, cats and dogs. This dog knows how to keep people in. They're just going to walk away from that dog like that? I can't believe that. That dog wanted pets. I like a story. I'm in for a story. We click play. That was our curse. Ooh, clues. All right. What you guys putting together there? Oh, this could be hilarious. Yeah, it's probably like completely wrong. It's going to be like three different people. They have three different theories about <laughs> what everything means. But we haven't stopped working outside. Our main aim here is to find a new tool. To discover what it is. So maybe we will discover another thing in this area. That's a little greedy, don't you greedy. think? Greedy. You already got one tomb. But we need to finish the work. Yeah, man. Yeah, don't forget about the tomb in front of you, okay? <laughs> Worried about future tombs. Like my dad used to say, one tomb at a time. Who raised you guys? <laughs> we have hundreds of people who work in the mission. There's all this source of income for them. I mean, maybe wait, because right now is not a good time. I mean, look, I love digging holes all day, but is it worth it? Yeah. Is there security in it? It's always more holes to dig. Yeah. We need something big here. Man, they're not even living paycheck to paycheck. They're living discovery to discovery. Yeah, that's tough. That's rough. We got. <laughs> that's why they're trying to find that other tomb. I don't think I've ever discovered anything. I'd be dead. Well, so I'd have got paid zero times right now. <laughs> All right, damn. Okay. We're on the clock, baby. March last year. <laughs> what you doing with that stick, man? <laughs> yeah, why is that guy got a stick? What happens when the cameras aren't on you with that stick? 
Yeah. I feel like people are getting hit with that stick. Somebody got hit with that stick. They're just making stuff up. Let me see. Ah, yes. The ancient pharaoh. This is a shin bone. Discovery, baby. <laughs> yeah, there has to be a lot of pressure just to kind of make shit up. Is that a toothbrush? What we got here? I don't think any of that was clear. I think he just. <laughs> no, man. I mean, people are. Some people are experts in this kind of thing. It's your job to dig. <laughs> It's my job to read what you dig. Yeah, I don't think I would like working for that guy. Give me the guy with the stick. He seems like a good, good guy. Oh, they got a little... This is a little cat? A little cat statue? It's pretty good. It's a good find. <laughs> I mean, what's I get you? A couple thousand dollars? I mean, that's got to be... Right. Hey. Ain't put you. together a little kitty cat. Look at that. Yeah, man. Man, that made this hot ass summer worth it, didn't it? <laughs> Who gets to keep it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never heard of that before. That's cool. Bubastan. We're the kitty tribe. Archaeo zoologist. Yeah, look, if he's just going to be making stuff up. Hmm. No, that's a real thing. I mean, I know, buddy. I know. <laughs> the Bubastion was a cult center and temple devoted to the goddess Bastet. Okay. It's a cult center. Yeah, man. Cult of Bastet. She is the goddess of motherhood, beauty, and love. Most commonly seen as a cat. Or a woman with a cat's head. <laughs> All these kitties! Look, <laughs> I, mean, I love these little cats. This is great. Ooh, show me the scary side. Some of that scary side. But she scratches when she's mad. The goddess of plagues. Yeah, that's the thing about mothers is they're always unleashing plagues. Yeah, I mean, I just like that's that they... the dark side of mothers. Well, I like that they dug up the goddess of plagues about a year or so ago. That seems appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> you motherfuckers, leave it alone. We're about to get a ton of locusts. Chase, you know what locusts are? Yeah, I know what locusts are. What are locusts? Locusts are from the devil. And <laughs> <laughs> they, no, like, do you know where they come from? Uh, kind of. Aren't they What? Aren't they some other type of bug first? And then yeah, they're, they're grasshoppers. They're grasshoppers and they're dead. Grasshoppers, yeah. if they brush up against three other grasshoppers, they turn into a locust. Yeah, no, yeah I forgot the, the magic grasshopper thing. And after... The pandemic, or I mean, it's not after, but throughout this pandemic, I've understood that because every time someone brushes up against me, I'm like, if that happens two more times today, I'm going to lose my <laughs> fucking mind. <laughs> wow, that's the sun, baby. Thousands of years. Millions of people dream to do 
after somebody else dug it up for months. <laughs> it just feels great to be the first one to touch it. Hit him it. with yeah. the stick and hit him <laughs> in that statue. It's pretty old. More, more, more. Can't wait. We got to dig up more plague goddesses. What's up, Wadi? It's the, it's the god of flu. Look, we found him. He's so sick. Where's my king, baby? Man, the king ain't hanging out down by people's feet. Look up. <laughs> they gotta get you in there, Chase. What are you guys doing? I know the king's not down there with the peasants. You're crazy. It's not <laughs> Not a defined state, you idiot. <laughs> I think Chase hates archaeologists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just like, that. I just like second guessing them. It's more fun that way. <laughs> no, I like to think you just hate all. I just hate them. It's supposed to be left alone. Your job is a crime. You should all be in jail. You should all be left in those tombs. Messing with the devil down there. Wati, purified priest to the king, overseer of the divine estate, overseer of the sacred boat, revered with the great god, Wati. Man, tell me more about the sacred boat. That sounds dope. Yeah, what's up with that boat? You got a yacht? What's that? <laughs> Yo, you can chill out, bro. Look, I'll I'll fucking be the mean one around here. All right, you yeah, let her. I mean, you're you're everyone's being so critical and hitting people with sticks. We think he's a priest. You got a boat. So he was a televangelist. I got you. <laughs> God said, make me a better tomb than yours. <laughs> it's God's blessing, me with prosperity. I like this guy. Bit of an egoist. <laughs> well, he didn't make the tomb, right? Or maybe he told them, maybe his, his, he was telling them what to do. He he approved the writing. I don't know. This guy's. Uh, I mean, that's what you do, right, Chase? Fifty-five statues of yourself. Oh, easy, dude. All mine would be flexing, though. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I like about these archaeologists is they have to like pick a story and they just like get involved. They're like, this is what happened. But then there's always like somebody else. It's like I looked it over a year later, and I actually think, and it's like a whole different. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. Is that the boat? All right, the boat thing's checking out. I was a little skeptical about the boat. It's got some cows. Yeah. He wanted everything. Yeah, I don't like that guy. <laughs> I don't like him either. Let that lady talk Seems with her good. bad handwriting. I like her. With the ancient Egyptians, because they loved life so much, 
they wanted to have a fabulous afterlife and the best way was to have a very nice tomb. Makes sense to me. Damn, this shit's... They would build what they say, 44,000 years old? Or wow, yeah. 4,400 or whatever. And then there would be a shaft connecting to the below ground bed <coughs> where you're actually buried. Because the idea was you preserve your body so your soul can reanimate it. The above ground, the chapel, was beautifully decorated with all kinds of scenes that show the ideal life that they were enjoy for Dude, I bet that Pharaoh ghost is losing its shit. Like, yeah, you goddamn right you found my tomb. <laughs> MTV Crips, what's up? What's up? I've been waiting to show this shit off. Yeah. Look, this is my boat. <laughs> these are my <laughs> these are my cows my 55 statues of myself so this whole tomb complex acted as a kind of resurrection machine that guaranteed being able to safely go from this world to the next world guarantee seems like it worked he's not around anymore is he <laughs> yeah look how I lived baby Look at her. Oh, she thinks he's full of shit. Yeah. She thinks he's an asshole. That's so funny. <laughs> that look to the left told her so much. Yeah, she definitely disagrees with his take. <laughs> Dude, what do you mean? That's what those dudes did. Your top dog, you put your name on stuff. Yeah. Our president has his name on buildings everywhere. <laughs> Conspiracy. Bro. Oh, right. I guess that's where we're at now. What story are you fucking pushing, bro? There's an evil brother out there. We don't know his name. Find more kitty cats. Whoops. <laughs> so help me God, I will beat you with a stick if you do not find me another cat. Daddy needs his kitty. Bring it to me. <laughs> I collect them. I don't even sell them. They're worthless. Gonna try to sell that guy a Hello Kitty toy. Look at that camel. <laughs> um, I don't like this. <laughs> this shit's heavy. Life is hell as a camel. <laughs> a little slice of life. And I, I hit this guy with this. Yeah, I was about to say, you got <laughs> people working for you there too. Man, you are really in it, huh? That's crazy. This guy's he's got his own tomb. Yeah, he's got like a He's got a bunker. A little bug out bunker. <laughs> But he's got 55 statues of himself in there and a lot of kitties. Well, that's a good point. I don't know. Did they move him out to the desert to leave him? <laughs> Did 
Superhead. Just getting ready to die. Superhead, dude, it's all still here. Yep. People are touching it. Feel the reeds, huh? Better Egypt. Oh, I know about this. You gotta answer three questions from a troll, right? You gotta weigh your soul. Yeah. All right. 42 judges. Yeah, I convinced 37 judges, but <laughs> four of them are real assholes. Yeah. Gotta weigh that heart against the feather. <laughs> Feed it to the crocodile. Crocodile will eat these hearts all day. It's crazy. He loves them. Have the heart of a feather, my friend. Thank you, Chase. <laughs> hey, there's that cat. Hey. Look, don't you ever go more than 10 minutes without showing me a cat or a dog. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need it. I got this thing. You want this? <laughs> this is pretty heavy. <laughs> How many people have died of po poison darts? Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, let's get down there. All right, who's going to die today? Send, uh, I choose... Whatever you find, you bring it to me. I touch it first. <laughs> Don't touch it. You wear gloves. <laughs> oh, I like this. How crazy. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just slowly let you know him how down. how this goes in every movie ever. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man, imagine being that guy. That's so crazy. Just going down into a hole, giant deep hole. No one's been in for 5,000 years. Hey, what's up, guy? Already down here? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Dead cats? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Don't you be touching dead people. What? What is it? Oh, boy. I don't like it. What? Please let me off the hook and let me know it's not bodies. Yep, the leg right here. That's nice cat. I knew it. Cool. Just so many dead cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's rough. <laughs> All cats and two raccoons. You ever, uh... But you're like replacing a porch and you find a dead cat under there. It's like that, but 5,000 years <laughs> later. <laughs> there's just. There's a lot of them. There's so many cats. A dog. That ain't no cat. What we got here? 
It's a catfish. Fuck. Delicious. Well, hello. What is it? It's a kitty. There's this king kitty right here. terrify my children with I would ruin their lives whoa <laughs> we found a big old kitty it's a big cat though <laughs> bigger than you think you scare shit out your kids with this cat it's all cats guys yeah no this one's a tiny dog <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are you taking all the dead cats? I would just leave them. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop doing that. It's a mongoose. It's a mongoose for sure. Yeah, it looks like a mongoose. I mean, how could you deny? It's mongoose like shape. For sure, a mongoose. It's a crocodile. Yeah. All right, some cats and some crocodiles. You know. Boss, that's a crocodile mummy I've ever seen one. Hey, boss. Oh, man. Lay next to you, giant kitty. You mongoose crocodile. I wonder what that was if it's not a cat. That's kind of interesting. Oh man. Yeah, man. You smell like dead cats, that's why. <laughs> yeah, they uh they sense ancient dead cats on you and it scares the shit out of them. <laughs> Maybe take a shower. Yeah, dude. Hey, everybody grab a cat. Let's go. I we think can, that's how cats feel. We can do this a lot faster if we all grab a crate of cats. <laughs> <laughs> that cat's like, Jesus, what is going on? What the fuck? <laughs> Does anyone else smell 500 dead cats? Something is not right here. It's a cat meeting tonight. Something fucked up is happening in this town. <laughs> <laughs> so we think that police would be reading them and probably subcontracted out to villagers. I think the cats ran shit. When people were farming these cats, and having chicken farms as well. Nah. Them cats ran the city. Little city cats. The way a sacred animal cult worked was that there was one animal in the temple which was supposed to be sort of. Manifestation. My name is Buttons. <laughs> and I'm God Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bernard McFuzzin. <laughs> <laughs> and I run shit in this here town. <laughs> it's my temple, sir. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's all cats all the way down. Yeah, we just keep running into cats, actually. <laughs> this cult of cats is really into cats, turns out. These are sacrifice cats, is that what you're telling me? Pretty cool. Which is what we're finding 
Oh, cool. So just mass cat graves. <laughs> no wonder the, the rest of the cats are like, do we smell? Do you smell like souls? <laughs> Dog, dude. It's a dog. <laughs> Gotta smoke a cigarette after what you've seen. Well, it's like a cat, but a little bigger. I just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call that. It's bigger than a bread box. All right, you and your theories again. Yeah, I don't have any reference points, so you're going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to need to know a little bit more there. Oh. What did it say? He said, this is my bitch. Hey, he's a mama's boy. All right. I think he got divorced and he was like, my mama is the only woman I need. And he scratched out the old lady's name. His no old his wife. Will ever match up to my mama. And put his mom's name there. And then he died before he got remarried. And he's like, ah, shit, it's going to be embarrassing. They're going to think I married my mom. He's a thief? How'd we get there? What? Who's this guy? What? What? He sees the tomb? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I like his story, man. Yeah, maybe someone was like building a tomb for themselves, and then he came in after they died and like dragged the body out. Yeah, hey, like, scratched out a name. This? Wrote, wrote his mom's name this on there. This is about Wadi's now. So it could be Wadi's brother. Yeah, he definitely got punished for that. And they do not like me. <laughs> I stole my brother's tomb. What? All right. <laughs> I'm 
I tricked these guards. Well, luckily, we got him right here. It does feel as though you're going to have to keep exploring the tomb. Yeah. I know it's like a cat, but it's bigger. What is it? <laughs> Don't let him hear you. He'll hit you with that stick. Yeah, just had fun with that one, you know? I had to have a couple goofballs back there. I'm going to draw a B on this one. <laughs> this one's, a, the big one's going to be a B. <laughs> what? What can't it be? <laughs> Everybody leave it alone. It's all, <laughs> it's all leaving on that table. What does this machine do? Who's going to say dog? It's a baby lion. That's a tiger lady. Could be a tiger. It's a lion. Makes sense to me. Can't put a leopard and a cat wrapping. Well, that was easy. Well, that's crazy. First of all, lion. There lion, baby. Let's find that lion cult. Yeah, that's scary. They definitely traded lions.
pretty crazy. Yeah. Is Looks that good. is that crack tomb ceiling okay? Will my cats ever love me again? <laughs> I just want to pet cats. Why have I been cursed? Why are you not moving? You see like a basketball coach? <laughs> All right, boys, grab a knee. You with the blue fedora, you're in front. <laughs> it's time to grow up. Let's get down there and get them kitties. Yeah, pray before you bust open that grave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Think well. we'll find a book down here. <laughs> I mean, a book's an object, too. Mm. You're really painting yourself in a corner there, man. So I think you're full of shit. I found this note. It says it's his brother's tomb. <laughs> he feels real bad about it, though. So. <laughs> He's got a plan for the afterlife. He's going to lie, and he thinks that'll work on the feather. <laughs> Just doing Sudoku over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just waving his stick around in the air. I'm so bored. Haven't seen a new kitty in weeks. I feel like I'm the pharaoh. <laughs> yeah, it's ironic, isn't it? Sure feels like we haven't progressed much. <laughs> Real fucked up to think about, actually. 4,000 years later, we're... You'd think we could have got a metal detector or Still something. Still carrying around these fucking buckets. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. You just like dig up a shovel with your shovel. You're like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's name Osama. It's a tough go. Yeah, is that the coffin? Did y'all bust it open on TV? Cool. 
crazy. <laughs> Be careful with that brush, bro. Damn, that's crazy. Found a dead guy. Dope. So that's his brother? Yeah, that oh, shit fucking, cool. that shit fucking, uh, really stood the test of time there. No shit, right? 5,000 years later. It's like, you look great, dude. <laughs> Whoa, just lift it up, huh? <laughs> I bet one of those guys said to like another guy, I was like, it's not heavy, it's just awkward. Right. <laughs> As a part of my job, sacred divisional, it means that I have to stop by most of the sites in Egypt. And demand a bribe. <laughs> and what you do? What you do when you get there? Let's open this thing up, baby. What if they just ever open it up and it's just a big puddle? <laughs> Only one way to tell. Definitely don't. God damn. Yeah, it's What's a guy. up, bro? It's for sure a guy. Wild. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> This is a lot of paperwork. I was really hoping there was nothing in here. Burnt. Get it out of there. You don't need it. Okay. I guess think it smells like. <laughs> and then they would start to wrap you using linen bandages. And reciting spells and praying and burning incense. Now do it. And all of this, what he did was transform you from a secular creature to a sacred being. Cool. Convince me. That would be the end of it for your life on Earth. I'd say so. But it would be the start of your life in the afterworld. Cool coffin, though. Yeah. Sorry they burned you to death, but... Yeah, that, that part's a bummer. Yeah, we got another one? What we got down here? 
كان ليها تأثير قوي جدا على الطريقة اللي كانوا المصريين بيعاملوا بيها موتاها. أوزيريس وأيزيس كانوا إخوان. وكان أوزير يحكم العالم لحد ما قتلوا أخوه سيف. سيف. قطعوا إلى قطع ووزعها في أراضي كانت أيزيس ساحرة. Did not expect Seth to no, be in this. No, man, I did not expect ancient Seth. <laughs> what? Gary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the bottle. This dude's name is Horace, and fucking Seth was around back then? Did not realize Seth was an ancient Egyptian name. I got Uncle Seth. <laughs> it's one of my favorite uncles. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, Chase. <laughs> it's a murder. Yeah, that looks pretty burnt. Yeah, not your best day, Seth. Get his ass over here. Where is he? <laughs> what doing, else? Doing crossword puzzles again. Get the fuck over here, man. Playing words with friends. <laughs> we reached the floor of the shaft itself. So it's very bad news. He's got a Yankee cap on? I don't know why. Because this shaft is big. Like one meter by one meter. Usually these shafts with these measurements, it goes deeper like or seven millimeter with the room down but <laughs> it, uh, unfortunately this one finished quickly I don't know why and they also they found some remains of or fragments of pottery even that was that I mean, maybe not every tomb was made by a genius. Maybe some people fucked up and like Yeah they're like yeah. just put a couple pots down there. Yeah. That was their first try. Like, ah, we fucked this one up. Okay, we'll just use this as trash. Throw. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm upset about this. I'm going to drink all the alcohol in this jar. And then I'm going to throw that down there. And we're going to start over tomorrow next to it. <laughs> Gim Garib. I think this guy's our hero. Yeah, he's had a tough life. Yeah. I've been digging since I was three years old. <laughs> My father worked here before me. Yeah, you gotta be really careful, man. I feel like this guy is a very highly specialized uh, worker, and I do not feel like he is adequately compensated, Chase. No, not at all. Unionize. Yeah, they need somebody diggers. speaking for him for sure. That, I'm a, I'm that foreman is too powerful. This guy's going to be so excited when he hears that I'm gonna, about to be his guy. <laughs> Speak up for him. I got tea, guys. Aw. He's been digging since he was three. Yeah, he does not look happy. <laughs> he does not want this to be his life. Or maybe he does. I mean, he's got a Dina sweatshirt. He's got a he's got a donkey. That's kind of cool. It's a good life for a kid.
Life ain't about learning numbers, it's about learning how to dig. As long as you're happy, Pop. <laughs> I'm sorry I met Wes. <laughs> I don't trust him. Gareeb, this is your last. I'm firing your son, too. <laughs> and your donkey. <laughs> Gonna land on your head, Gareeb. We're leaving you in there. <laughs> I just want to confirm that. Just want to confirm I was right. So Gary was right. All right. <laughs> you know what? I don't trust your eyes. Okay. Yeah. Let me come down there and check you. Oh, what's that? What do you think it is, Chase? Uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a, it's a tiger mummy. Tiger mummy? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's either that or another coffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many things could it be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of dead cats again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are hero's name. Could be... Garib. Garib. I'm sure he's hating this motherfucker being like, I'm the first one to touch it. Yeah, Nancy. he's like, son of a... Hey, dude, I was doing a good job well, down there. eyes aren't good enough to find wood. Yeah. <laughs> you down there picking up gold bricks, you motherfucker. <laughs> Hamad's the best. He did it all on his own. It was never a Grabeeb. Okay, got some mud. Possible to get it out in one piece. No. You fucking asshole. Oh, I know who wouldn't have done that. Gareep, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> Hope you're going to die down in that hole. Oh, uh, dude, you. Well, definitely just shove it. <laughs> yeah, get in there. Thank God. Hey, quit crying down there. Come on. We're not even mad at you. Other than Gareep. Gareep's okay. pissed. <laughs> All right, you know his son's here and everything. You embarrassed him in front of his son. In front of his son, you said that. You said he had bad eyesight. What, you the tooth fairy now? Yeah, explain it. Explain yourself. Touching all them dead bodies, you weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> 
Does it? Does it break your heart? Kids die too. Or do you look for more, you monster? Uh-oh. Oh, it's like the cats, but now with kids. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I didn't expect uh, kid bones down there. I always knew the kid bones were coming. What's up, pups? Those dogs are excited about all the kid bones. <laughs> like, well, you think we could chew on one of them bones? Oh, boy. <laughs> I never chewed on a kid bone before. Well, those dogs are hanging out. They're like, man, you know how many bones are out here? I had no idea. <laughs> I thought this was the desert. I can't I, you know, all these guys have bones. Bones everywhere. All these bones. Cats are running away scared. This is a great place. <laughs> yeah. Cats won't get near it. In fact, a lot of dead cats here. <laughs> Which I, a dog, also a cat racist, love. <laughs> it's a great place for a dog. In that bit, I was uh, doing a character where I was a dog that was racist towards yeah. cats. Okay. Pulled it off. Yeah. Not only the way of death, but the way of life. The more interesting stories are about their lives. How did they live? That's Probably not good. Was he healthy? Probably not. Was he happy? Yeah, he died as a kid. Yeah, it's a very sad one. Yeah, I mean, give me a call. I'll just let you know. Yeah, it's a sad bone right there. It's a sad one. This bone's kind of frowning. <laughs> what a job. Who was that guy that was like mansplaining things to her? I don't know. He's gone. He's fucking yeah. crazy. <laughs> that dude's coked out out there in that desert. Yeah, for sure. There's a conspiracy here. I feel it. <laughs> conspiracy? We don't even know what this place is. <laughs> it's his brother's tomb that he stole and he married his mother. And they burned a cat. Them bones, them bones, them dead bones. <laughs> <laughs> They'll pull your hair up but not out. <laughs> Explained. <laughs> My friends are in pieces. Leg bones connected to the. Or. I don't know how to get feelings from bones, but I can feel it. I'm trying to think of the bone songs. It's <laughs> funny what you're doing over there. Yeah. Got an old bone bit going. Yeah. What? Uh, I can't think of any other bone songs. I think we're pretty good. The shop nearest the door had bones of. That's neither the skeletons came to life. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate bone zone. <laughs> Dude, that's a one. The bones are their money. So are the words. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever it's saying, I think you should leave. If no one's clear on that, you should go watch that show. It's very funny. It's on Netflix. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, three yeah. of them were not high uh, status. Nah, I shoved them in a box. What happened here? The cats kind of had a better situation. If yeah, you they, were, they mummified them. What type of monster were you? Uh, what's up, puppy? You found a bone? Uh oh. I 
We're going to die in this shaft. Come on. I don't die on a hill. I die in a shaft. <laughs> Man, they really did dig them one shaft at a time. I would have thought, <laughs> you take this one, and I got this one, and you got, you know, like. <laughs> That's like Christmas presents, dog. You got to wait for someone to finish opening theirs before you open the next one. <laughs> ah, this one was short. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was yours. You don't get to open it. <laughs> Sorry, Garib. <laughs> what have you found? Let me touch it first. It's a complete theory. Um, they, they buried like 600 BC, more than 2,600 years old. The bones that um, collapsed at the sea. It still has the equipment for the afterlife. Uh, a little cocaine box. Yeah, it's the brick somebody hit him with whenever he died. <laughs> this is... <laughs> yeah, Reese's Pieces in here. <laughs> Mike and Ike's <laughs> No way <laughs> That is really cool That it's like a little chess set Yeah, yeah I was going to give him shit I was like Where did you pull chess out yeah. But Pretty improvisational game. Let's go what feels right, you know. <laughs> yeah, semi spine right here. Yeah, I'm not sure that's part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> How do they play, you know? How many points is this vertebrae worth? That is cool. It's got an engraving on the side. It's like three of 407. Like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> got a limited edition over here. <laughs> Osama, you crazy. Found a hole. Hey, there's a hole over here, guys. Are we looking for holes? <laughs> I forgot what we're doing. We're digging holes, but if I find a hole, does that count? Get over and touch it first. Shove your arm in there. <laughs> Lay on it, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, it's just bones in there, too. Damn, goddamn, they are just finding... This place is flush with dead people. <laughs> they are really on a graveyard here. Yeah, man. I wouldn't really want my kid there. <laughs> yep. Stack of burials. Mm -hmm. Skeletor, right there. Me! <laughs> I found something beautiful. Forget about all those skeletons. Beauty. Uh, we got some up your nose. We're going to shove a cat down that hole. <laughs> That's how this was always going to go. Let the cat bring back the bones. <laughs> Found another hole. Bring it all down. Yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, better. 
<laughs> hey, move the shit for me. Dude, you're about to fall. That's what we've been saying, dude. Caves are not for people. They're for bats. Cave bears, which don't exist anymore, so that's a moot point. Oh, think they're going to find a cave bear? God, I hope so. I hope they find like an old Methuselah cave bear and it's guarding a pot of honey. <laughs> Put your backs into it. <laughs> ole, 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 ole. Don't drop it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, you're really on it. You're going to collect them all, man. Yeah, I got a long shaft. Uh. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's bones. <laughs> I found more bones. Yeah, it's just a head. <laughs> it's really fucked up, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not even a cool one. It's yeah. really scary. <laughs> I think this shaft is people they didn't like. <laughs> Throw it up here. This shaft is strange for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this whole thing's been strange. A barrier chamber in this shaft. Nah, it's just extra bones they threw down there. That makes sense. It's like they didn't give a fuck about them people. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> we gotta hurry up and bury these people. Were they just digging that shaft and it collapsed in on them? <laughs> All right, now you got me interested. Now? Yeah, up until now, I just, you know. Damn. Seen it out, but now, now that something happened to the family of Wati, I'm. <laughs> Dude, I've always been invested in the family of Wati. I'm a newcomer. What you got over here, lady, with them bones telling you? Ah, very sad bone. Oh, her jaw is locked in a scream of two. Mouth wide open. The middle shaft was another bag with totally destroyed bones. It's like they didn't respect you guys enough to put those neatly. Keep them together for whatever weirdo thousands of years from now will be digging around and... I found a skeleton. 
gehad of an old woman. I'm more than 55. So I'm trying to see something about how, how did this woman die. I think they decapitated her. I think they uh, Some swelling. pulled her head right off. The inner side of the mandible, the bone was distended uh, from inside with a cystic like swelling. Okay. Ugh. We are lucky to find it because a bone was in a terrible situation. <laughs> Just look at you. Look what you're doing today. <laughs> Shit <of> life. <laughs> Just <coughs> holding a thousand year old skull. Alas. Thousands of years. Well, Wati, I hardly knew you. <laughs> Yeah, it's a small cheekbone here. There's a temple. I'll take a shot. <laughs> Tried to get in there before they said it. <laughs> Whoa, okay. It's a mom and wife. So they kill when Wati died. They just killed his whole family. <laughs> like, thank God he's dead. Get the rest of them. <laughs> Get rid of these Watis. I'm tired of oh, mud. Yeah, I know. He spent the last ten years making that goddamn tomb. Put them all in there. <laughs> There's complete dicks about it. Gotta be mama. Yep, got that. Probably his wife. <laughs> Think it's her. Favorite child. <laughs> All right, adds up. <laughs> All right, take the win. <laughs> yeah, this is a good theory. This is his family lying beside each other. From their ages and the situation of the bones, we must have strong suspicions that the deaths of all these people were connected somehow. A mystery. That's a good point. The coldest case. I'm pretty sure what happened was uh, Wati died and they killed the rest of them. I mean, that's why there is a tomb, right? Because Wati died? Yeah. I mean... I don't know when you start making your tomb. <laughs> I mean, it depends how responsible you are. If right. you're if you're pretty responsible, you set up a nice like tomb nest egg for yourself. Why? Let's start a Hoff IRA. Get it? Because Hoff is one of the Egyptian gods. So Me that too. Was, that was a. Uh, I definitely didn't get it, but um, yeah, I tried. I appreciate it. I, I was sitting over here, just my mind was racing trying to come up with a <laughs> Egyptian mythology pun. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was wasted on me. <laughs> yeah, well, I got to explain it and feel smarter. So, Well, we don't know how they were. They might have been digs. <laughs> I think there's some 
I'm waiting on where the part where they're like, hey, you guys ever heard of coronavirus? What is that all about? Yeah, I mean, I feel like they're probably pretty safe, just like all those dudes out in the desert by themselves. Yeah. Just wondering if, to what level it affects it. All right, Shaft 4. Because they're not far away. They're... That's true. You're scared, go to church. That's right, that's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, why don't you stop heckling us? God will deal with you, Jesus. That's really cool. There are no coincidences anymore. So we found three days ago uh, a very nice release from the scene uh, from the Ramsite. Oh, dude, that's so cool. The second, it was very clear. And today we have this one also, the style of uh, Ramsite. That's meaning more than 3,300 years old. Whoa. Holy shit, man. You guys are finding a lot of shit. Yeah, man. You know, this is a weird tangent to go on, but I remember taking um, like an archaeology class in college. Yeah. And I guess I never learned or I was never taught that like a lot of Native Americans would have burial mounds, but they don't really exist anymore because when uh, America was being colonized or whatever, they're basically just racist and they didn't think the natives were smart enough to make like the burial. They was too intricate and there was too much, so they thought white people must have been there before, and that's kind of why Mormonism in Mormonism there's uh, white uh, Israelites lived in America you know what I mean okay. because, because of just like that racist belief back then that all this stuff must have come from white people because there's a lot intertwined there yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> no, up, 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 up. <laughs> Somebody sneezes, knocks it over. When I was a kid, my grandparents had this garden, right? Yeah. And uh, every now and then I'd be like a little kid, like out there digging for treasure. And uh, so they. Mummy? <laughs> so they started putting mummies out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, so one day, uh, like, my grandparents, like, put some, like, just a dollar and some change in there. And like, ah, oh, I should have found treasure, right? And uh, it, it took me a couple years to realize that, like, they did that, that <laughs> I didn't. I didn't find treasure in that garden. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, my where my dad lives, uh, 
there's an area of his yard that was like where they burned their trash way back when oh yeah so he my dad gardens there which he really probably shouldn't but uh yeah as a kid like there was a constantly like finding old weird shit in the dirt there hey he's back hey uh, my eyes work well now don't they Here, it's a basket of dirt. <laughs> Sit somebody else down there for him. I think Grief needs more. He needs more respect. I know, right? Grief gets to it, and then they start giving him shit, and have somebody else go down there and actually get to play with it. Good Grief. <laughs> I mean, couldn't set it better. Grief's not pushing it to the south softly enough, so. Oh, boy. What is it? Oh, they found it. That. It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> What'd you see, bro? Oh. Yep. We got a woo, baby. I figured he was in here, but we found him. <laughs> There's nowhere else he could have been. It would have been weird if he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it turns out he was in the third one. It's the fourth one. I really wish we would have started here. I thought there was only three in there. No, there's four. One of them was just wasn't very deep. Well, I thought that was just the shitty one, and then there was two others. Well, they said this was shaft four. Okay. This documentary has caused a rift between me and Chase. Look, I've just been under the impression there's three the whole time. <laughs> and uh, if you'd be suddenly adding four, it's really rocked my world. Yeah. What's up, Wati? What'd you do to get your family killed? That is interesting. Yeah, he stole that tomb. What about in the, the cat burial chamber? No sadness there. I don't know. The cats seem to feel otherwise. It's like he didn't even want to take his stuff. He'll be poor in the afterlife, bro. Well, yeah, he'd mummify himself. It's hard to do. He seems sad. Yeah, he's definitely a sad one. Yeah. He's frowning. If 
I've had better days, my boy. <laughs> Skull? <sighs> yeah, thank God we solved that. Yeah. I don't know what that does for you, though. You solved it. <sighs> that would be so cool to be in that room, though. Just everything around you is 5,000 years old. Burn. Burn. You pussy. Oh, it's getting roasted. <laughs> 35, you piece of shit. 35 all feminine. I think this was Wati. You sassy man, you. Yeah, childbearing hips. It doesn't have that strong or rough. I can see that there are four shafts now, so. I've finally forgiven you for. <laughs> I'm glad that we came to an amicable. Like I can admit when I'm wrong. Finish. I just have to see it with my eyes. <laughs> Especially since it means I was right. <laughs> That's a big part of it for me. And it's huge. <laughs> well, I thought we had. Uh, I know what you thought. I because I I, I, I I thought so too. Yeah, I thought we had boys in one, mom and daughter in the other, him in the third. That's yeah, but then there was that. Shaft that just wasn't very deep, and he said the pot. Oh, okay, the failed one. Hey, you can't take your work that hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that's not the right way to do Look. it. Get an elder puff, <laughs> put on some good music. <laughs> Don't take it home with you, you know, leave it in the tomb. Like this, I think he was uh, weak. These bones weren't uh, healthy. Okay. They were eager for blood. Whoa, who's eager for blood? <laughs> and that's why the bone has descended. She can't tell us. This person may have some sort of anemia. Oh. And the sense when it was found in the mother, we have congenital causes of anemia. But uh, this is, I think, a remote uh, idea because uh, both died in different age. So it's not that common. But uh, by putting the raw situation of that tomb, we may think of some sort of. Uh, a disease or epidemic. <laughs> yeah, it's the goddess of plagues, remember? Which may affect this whole family. And if that's true, that would change ancient Egyptian history. Oh, really? I wonder how. It's a plague that knocked them all out, I guess. Oh. Or they just opened up this ancient burial site and released the goddess of 
plagues on the world. And, okay. uh, because that also checks out because... Is, is that what you think happened? And that's why we have uh, coronavirus? I do. I do. <laughs> I do know exactly who to blame this on. <laughs> We've been looking over in China. It was not there. <laughs> it was this dude. What? Look, man. Wati doesn't need your approval. Yeah, I right? think Wati was famous in his time. If he comes now, he's probably gonna be pissed. You fuck with his stuff. Yeah, man. Hey, bro, did you touch my baby's bone? <laughs> you drag all my kids out of the dirt. What, what the fuck? It's my mother was in there. You asshole. Wait. Where's my baby lion? <laughs> you <laughs> fucking monsters. Oh, you done did it now. <laughs> Maybe a, a anemic feminine boned man, but I have a lion for a reason. All right. I like myself. <laughs> I don't need any of you. I'm giving you all COVID. All right. My Facebook is my dreams. That's what mine's made of. The rest of you guys are living wrong. Me and Chase have dream Facebooks. It's my dream board, but it's the internet. Yeah. And this is their first line. It's just 1,000 photos of Jennifer Aniston. One day, dude. You gotta put it out there. I don't. I think some of them are probably dumb. And Oh, yeah. I I would not. Yeah, people are people. <laughs> it looks weird seeing that plastic water bottle in the back. <laughs> Sponsored by Dasani. <laughs> yeah. All right, just put hey, this door back. Close this tomb <laughs> up. Get the fuck out of here. This place is about to be ransacked. It is it's funny, ransacked, like ransacked. You close, you close the tombs all back up, right? And then thousands of years pass, and then somebody else goes digging, and then they find this tomb, and then they find evidence of your dumb ass that dug around. They're like, I think that there were some jerks 2,000 years ago. Yeah. They're fucking around this place. And just, like, you're not part of the history of this. <laughs> you got to stop. You are not supposed to do this. This is not okay. You're all going to jail. Well, get some boards up. <laughs> yeah, no more money for shovels. Sorry. Man, that outfit was government funded. <laughs> yeah. And we just put it in storage. After all that shit they found, they're still like, yeah, but no. Good. Turns out we don't care. Usually I don't find anything, and that was our plan for you to not find anything, so. Oh, what did y'all have to do? Y'all just fucking leave it? <laughs> to put, fill it, cover it with dirt again. Circle of dirt. Dirt goes up, dirt goes down. But sometimes you have a surprise. Because when you clean some bliss... Sometimes we discover something. <laughs> yeah, I found something else. <laughs> oh, you found the actual guy? <laughs> I'll fucking hit you with the stick. I will beat you. You know I will. Yeah, I really wonder how much stick beating made it onto the editing room floor. It's just failed us with... <laughs> That is what they had to cut out. Yeah, it's a lot of that guy pointing a stick at different people. And I think saying, I'm going to hit you with a stick. <laughs> I 
Is this like they <laughs> they raise money at the end to save the school yeah. or whatever the fuck is that what just happened? We can all stay out here. Oh, we could stay forever, guys. What's it say? Oh, is there gonna be some dope shit down there? Looks like it. Oh shit! Oh, anxiety. Don't go in there. <laughs> Guys, y'all should just clean up every now and then. <laughs> That's how they found this one. They're yeah. cleaning shit up. <laughs> that should be part of your process. Clean as you go. Government doesn't pay us to clean. <laughs> They're not paying them at all anymore. They're just. You make me leave this cave. By the way, you guys, we're not getting paid for this. <laughs> Whoa. What we got here? It's a dope wall. We're going to find a city under here, boys. Thirty-one hundred unique artifacts. That's crazy. That's really cool. Malaria. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. All right, malaria. You got there early. Hey. Been fucking with us for a long time. OG malaria. First mummified lion ever discovered. That's really cool too. Oh, we're calling him Garif. His name's Garib. Nah. <laughs> Still pretty close, my, yeah. my good Garib. I tried my best. I mean, that's a good bit. Work. Nah, it doesn't really work if it's Garib, but... All right, you guys. Thanks for watching that with us. Uh, that was really cool. That Man, was, I like that. Yeah, that was uh, a nice escape and look into uh, history. Yeah, I wish they could keep going. I mean, I feel like I feel like every day they're finding something crazy. Like, just let them keep going. Yeah, I feel like the Egyptian... Uh, government really ruined this documentary Man. <laughs> think about other people come on all right well thanks for listening guys I